There's a very noticeable diversity in the core cast. Look at the Tender Engine roster. We've got an American, a Pacific, a Mogul, a Ten-Wheeler, and there are two six-coupleds, but they're twins, so they get a pass. And in the Tank Engine roster, we've got a Side Tank, a Saddle Tank, a Well Tank, a Pannier Tank, and another Side Tank. Oh dear. I'm not shitting on Wilbert, believe it or else, and I do like the 1400s and the 5800s. But as far as I'm concerned, variety in engine types can work on both the enthusiast level and the layman level. So I kept my eyes peeled for some other kind of tank engine, stumbled upon a narrow gauge back tank from the Royal Arsenal Railway, and fished around for standard gauge examples. The candidates I have might not be quite what I'm looking for, as they kind of work the same way Dolgok does. They've got well tanks between the frames, and auxiliary back tanks behind their cabs. So, fuck it, looks like these are the closest we're gonna get. So for the first time, I'm attempting an edit of an engine not from the television series. My ideal Oliver is an LNER G6, formerly known as a Northeastern Bogey Tank Passenger, an 044 back tank engine built in 1884. You may say that's a little too old. Indeed, that'd make him older than Edward. But all that does is add to his mystique in the eyes of the big engines who put him on a pedestal upon hearing about his escape from scrap. The G6s were known for handling push-pull trains, so Oliver doesn't lose that distinction. In fact, I'm thinking this version of Oliver is found by Douglas sandwiched between two auto coaches with Toad at the rear, and the coaches do the talking. Oliver says nothing until they reach Sodor, whereupon he thanks Douglas and his crew. But after being put to work, he and his coaches are stabled separately. So when he's pestered by the big engines to tell him about his adventures, he finds he has no choice but to tell them himself. The narrator line would then be, But Oliver was only an old tank engine after all. No bigger, stronger, faster, younger engine had ever said such admiring things to him before. So it's more ego fuel giving him a big head before becoming acquainted with the turntable well. However, as is the case with Toby, it'd be a different tale if I were to pick up where Season 5 left off. If you liked hearing my point of view and seeing my edits, leave a comment saying which character you'd like me to cover next.